The world often keeps a close eye on China. A few years back, an extraordinary plan was unveiled. It involved releasing one million rabbits. These small animals were headed for the desert. A vast, dry expanse awaited them. This was a groundbreaking ecological experiment. The news left many around the world astonished. Why rabbits for such a mission? And why a desert? Environmentalists shared their thoughts and concerns. The scale of the operation was enormous. One million lives, venturing into the unknown. The goal was to tackle a growing issue. Officials spoke of innovation and ecological restoration. They believed these rabbits held a unique solution. A solution to bring fertility to barren lands. The news quickly spread worldwide. Was it a brilliant idea or a risky gamble? Only time would reveal. The rabbits were gathered, ready for their new journey. The Gobi Desert is an incredibly challenging environment. It spans across regions of China and Mongolia. This place is known for its stark, dramatic beauty. Yet, it is also a land of severe extremes. Summer temperatures can reach scorching levels. Winter brings biting cold and fierce winds. Water is extremely scarce here. Life must be tough and resilient to survive. The Gobi's ecosystem is incredibly fragile. Its soils are thin and easily disturbed. Vegetation is sparse, clinging to life. Small shrubs and hardy grasses dot the landscape. These plants are vital for the desert creatures. They provide food and shelter in this tough world. But the balance is precarious. Any small change can have big effects. China faces significant environmental challenges. Desertification is one of the most serious. This is when fertile land turns into desert. Vast areas are lost to the encroaching sands each year. The Chinese government has tried many methods. The rabbit plan was another, very different approach. So what was the reasoning behind releasing all these rabbits? The main objective was to fight desertification. The hope was that rabbits would enhance the soil quality. Their droppings were considered a natural fertilizer. This could enrich the nutrient-poor desert soil. Their digging was also seen as beneficial. Burrowing could help aerate the compacted soil. This would allow water to penetrate more easily. The idea was that better soil would support more plant life. If more grasses and shrubs could grow, they would stabilize the soil. Their roots would help bind the sand and dust. This could slow down the desert's expansion and potentially reclaim some land from the desert. It was a vision of turning the desert green. A million small creatures as agents of change. But why were rabbits chosen for this ambitious project? Rabbits are known for their rapid reproduction. A small group can quickly become a large population. They are also generalist herbivores. They consume a wide range of plants, adapting to what's available. This adaptability was seen as a key advantage. However, many ecologists had serious concerns. The release day finally came. It was a monumental logistical challenge. Trucks delivered the rabbits to specific zones. Crates were opened and the rabbits cautiously stepped out. A wave of furry creatures spread across the sandy plains. One million rabbits began exploring their new environment. They sought shade from the sun and began foraging for food. The desert momentarily seemed alive with activity. Scientists and project managers observed with anticipation. Observations were meticulously recorded in the initial months. The rabbits, true to their nature, began digging burrows. These burrows provided shelter from the extreme temperatures. They foraged for the limited desert vegetation. Life was undoubtedly a struggle for many. The Gobi is an unforgiving environment, especially for newcomers. Some of the weaker rabbits likely perished early on, but many adapted, driven by their strong survival instincts. Initial changes to the vegetation were localized. Around the release sites, some plants showed signs of grazing. Small tender shoots were quickly consumed. Rabbit droppings began to appear, scattered across the sand. Native predators, such as desert foxes and eagles, were present. 
the intricate web of desert life was being subtly altered. A year had gone by. It marked a pivotal moment for the initiative. Research teams revisited the Gobi release sites. They aimed to evaluate the changes, to understand the year's impact. The world awaited updates with anticipation. Had the million rabbits begun to reclaim the desert? Or had the desert's harshness prevailed? The landscape they encountered was indeed altered, but perhaps not in the anticipated manner. The rabbit population was the primary focus. Initial counts indicated a dramatic rise. From the initial 1 million, their numbers had surged. Some estimates suggested over 20 million rabbits now roamed. Their reproductive success had far surpassed expectations. The Gobi seemed to provide enough resources for their initial survival. This vast population had become a dominant feature. Their presence was evident throughout the study zones. The impact on vegetation was stark and concerning. Instead of fostering plant growth, the opposite occurred. The overwhelming number of rabbits led to severe overgrazing. They devoured nearly all available plant life in extensive areas. The delicate desert crust, a thin layer of organisms that stabilize the soil, was disrupted. The ecosystem was visibly stressed, its balance severely disrupted. The aftermath of the first year revealed a disturbing reality. The world was indeed taken aback as alarming reports surfaced. The initiative aimed at halting desertification seemed to be exacerbating it. The rabbits had not turned into gentle stewards of the land. Instead, they had become a voracious, overwhelming force. Their extraordinary reproductive rate had now become a disastrous issue. This was the major unanticipated twist in this grand experiment. Nature's response was far from what was planned. The primary shock was the extent of the ecological damage. Large areas, once sparsely vegetated, were now almost plantless. This left the topsoil vulnerable to the relentless desert winds. Dust storms in the region became more frequent and severe. Air quality in nearby communities reportedly worsened. The rabbits, in their desperate search for sustenance, spread outwards. They moved into new territories, bringing destruction with them. The desert was not becoming greener, it was becoming more barren. Another startling outcome was the impact on native wildlife. The Gobi is home to unique, specially adapted species. Animals like the Gobi jerboa and the wild Bactrian camel. These species were already struggling in a harsh environment. The rabbit population boom created fierce competition for food. Scarce plant resources were decimated by the newcomers. Native herbivores found it increasingly difficult to survive. The Gobi Desert News reverberated through the scientific community. Ecologists and conservationists were quick to express their strong views. Many who had initially cautioned about the risks felt justified. The results were a clear demonstration of ecological principles. Introducing non-native species, especially those that breed rapidly, is highly risky. Dr. Evelyn Hayes, a prominent desert ecologist, remarked at the time. Ecosystems are not simple machines, she explained. You can't just add a component and expect a predictable outcome. Criticism of the project's planning and oversight intensified. Questions arose about the initial risk assessments. Were the potential negative impacts thoroughly considered? Were there enough small-scale controlled trials conducted first? Large-scale interventions in nature demand extreme caution. The Gobi Rabbit release became a textbook example of what not to do. It underscored the dangers of underestimating nature's complexity and the arrogance of thinking we can easily control it. International environmental organizations voiced their concerns. The Gobi Desert is a globally significant ecosystem. Its unique biodiversity and delicate state were now at greater risk. There were urgent calls for action to mitigate the damage. But managing millions of rabbits in such a vast area is a daunting task. The tale of the Gobi rabbits is a thought-provoking one. It stands as a potent reminder of nature's complex mechanisms. 
Nature is not merely a passive backdrop for our grand plans. It is a vibrant system, teeming with interconnections, and it often reacts in ways we cannot foresee. The desert, though seemingly barren, holds ancient wisdom. Its strength is matched by its vulnerability. This experiment revealed how swiftly that balance can be disrupted. Humanity has a significant impact on our environment. We have the ability to transform landscapes dramatically. Sometimes, our efforts focus on restoration and healing. We aim to repair the damage caused by previous actions. The Gobi Rabbit Initiative stemmed from such a desire, a desire to fight the relentless advance of deserts. However, the outcome was a stark lesson in unforeseen consequences. It demonstrates that even well-intentioned actions can go wrong. This experience highlights the critical importance of research. Comprehensive, long-term studies are crucial. Before we undertake large-scale ecological projects, we must endeavor to understand every potential ripple effect. Small, carefully monitored trials can offer essential insights. They enable us to learn and adapt before committing to major changes. The Gobi situation underscores the need for patience and caution.